Welcome to 180 U-Turn, the talk show that features some of the greatest conversion stories of our time. Stories of men and women who are on the highway to hell when they had a Damascus Road experience that changed their life forever. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Savant, and I'm broadcasting live today from Alongside Ministries in Phoenix, Arizona, one of the premier transitional facilities for former felons for drug abuse and alcohol abuse. For information on their prison outreach, their weekly meetings, and any of their special events, just hop out to their website at alongsideministries.com, and that's alongside-ministries.com. And if you want to write me, just write my email, steve at 180uturn.com. That's steve at 180-Y-O-U-T-U-R-N.com. I'll be happy to take your questions, any of the things you want to talk about, and I always, as I always say, appreciate the verses, Bible verses you guys send me. They always seem timely to me. Mm-hmm. Well, we're on our last day with you, Vanessa. We've yes. been doing Vanessa Morales' story all day. If you're just coming into our story today on YouTube, you need to go back out and watch this show in succession. We're on Friday's show, the last one, episode five, and you need to watch it in succession so you get the full Monty of what's going on here in our expression and what we're talking about. Now, you've talked about, I mean, this yesterday was Salvation Day. Yesterday was all the people that God gave you, surrounded you with. I mean, I'm sorry, but this sounds like the Lord had his hand on this whole thing. And I'm, I'm sure that you're grateful. Uh, let's talk about, you know, you went post-prison now. We've been talking about alongside ministries in our commercial, uh, you know, about transition from prison to the normal life, right? You're almost off paper, right? You're months away, right? Yes. So it's kind of exciting. You came to alongside. You got to keep the mentor that was in there that had so much, so much influence on you, right, Heather? Yes. Right? And, th- and when you come out, you still keep the same mentor, right? Is that correct? Yes. All right. So... How was that to say, I know this woman, I already have somebody outside that's willing to come alongside? It's a tremendous feeling. It took me a little while to be able to accept, you know, because I I felt like, you know, I didn't want to put her out. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, you know, I I am one of being independent and, but... Mm. That can work against me because mm-hmm. then I be then I get impulsive and I get in too much of a rush to go back to the life, you know. And so, I really was intentional about going slow and calling her and picking up that thousand pound phone that they talk about, you know, when I needed her. Mm-hmm. And she was always there. She never disappointed, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Were you okay putting aside your independence? I was this time because there was the desperation piece mm-hmm. that was there that I really just didn't want to go back. Did that phone get lighter as you kept calling? Yeah, her? just took some practice. <laughs> yes, just took some practice. Yeah. That's right. And she was so non-judgmental. Mm-hmm. You know, any any of the women that I have in my life were. I could tell them anything, and they just look at me. You know, mm-hmm. most people would be like, you know, I don't, not the, mm-hmm. not these women. You mm-hmm. know, and not only that, but they follow it up with the word. Mm-hmm. You know, and that makes it that much easier to maneuver through. Do you think God's like that? Yes. So, see, I mean, if that's if these are his women, right, yes. and they're non-judgmental, and they're not assessing every single thing you do wrong, then why right? Why can't I believe that God can? Okay, why can't God do that? Yeah. And if God told a man, and this is in the Bible, by the way, mm-hmm. to forgive 70 times 7, what do you, can you expect God to forgive you? If he expects man to do that, what about him? I know. Don't you think you're you love your child, right, Ava? Right? Uh, you love your child. Right? Yes. Well, don't you think God loves you like that? Yes. See, so I do now. This is all transferable, yeah. isn't it? It's yes. all transferable. Okay, so you came to Alongside Ministries. They have a program when you get out of prison. How long is that program? Um, it's anywhere from seven to eight months. So it could take some time. So, yeah. so and how was it? It was a great experience. Of course, now you had a job from the get-go, so I that did. was halfway home. So that, that made it a lot easier, but I got out to COVID. And mm-hmm. so, you know, there was a little bit of minor setbacks, uh-huh. but overall, it was great. You know, we have Bible studies, we have classes, we have curriculum, um, we work full-time. Mm-hmm. Um, I found fitness again, so I'm very much into fitness, and um, it's a very huge, it plays a huge part of my life, and I think that that's what was the was the missing piece as well even though you were with a gym a a gym rat for five years right yeah well i i've always i've always enjoyed that Mm -hmm. you know but 
when you're using drugs, all of that is sure. just, you just don't, you know. Um, but, you know, with him, I, I, I was at the gym with him, mm -hmm. not to his extent, right. but, you know, but... But now all the things that I used to make fun of him for, I'm doing. I'm there right. every day, right. <laughs> except so for one or two days. And remember, you're, you're, yeah. young, you're relatively young still. So, I mean, whatever you're doing now is going to pay serious dividends when you get older. It's just the whole, I, I have, I, I, I think that what's helped me is that I have the mental, the spiritual, the physical, physical. Mm -hmm. I have everything combined together and mm -hmm. it's all balanced so even on my bad days i can maneuver and i can pivot mm -hmm. a lot easier because i have that structure mm -hmm. and discipline in place you know well i love when you're hitting on all cylinders that which you just described yeah. right and it's the trifecta of the feminine experience in god when you get your when, when you get your street smart sanctified, yes. when you have the Holy Spirit living in your life, and in my view, a huge thing, the Lord reinitializes women's intuition. Yes. You know, it kind of gets killed and crushed when you're living on the streets, but then you wake up and you go, oh yeah, that's a lie. I'm not buying that anymore. Yeah. You know, that, that inner something, your conscience goes, no, that's not true. Yeah. yeah. That, that intrinsic being, the motivation, I thought that I lost so long ago. I found it through running. I found it through exercise. Mm -hmm. I found it through the word. I found it being a productive member to society and working. And do I still have bad days? Yes. But with the Lord and with mm -hmm. all of these things and the people that pour into me, I, it's so much more manageable and I can pivot things so much easier. Now, when, when you were inside, you were leading Bible studies for alongside ministries, yes. right? Now you're outside, you're, you're not only here helping out alongside, you're at New Freedom, you're at other places. Yeah, Talk yeah. a little bit about volunteering. What's uh, that like? Pay, uh, what's, what's like paying you forward? You know, I, it's, it's another God thing. You know, I found, I, I found New Freedom just by chance. You know, I had called, I, I hadn't sp spoken to, um, you know, Melissa and, and a couple of, M Melissa Scheller in a couple of, you know, a, a couple of months. And I decided, you know, I'm just going to give her a call. I'm going to be graduating soon. I, I know it's important to network and build a foundation outside of Alongside too. And I'm going to call her and, you know, see what she's doing over at this New Freedom. I had heard she'd gone over. And she said, yeah, sure, come on over and I did and I mean things just took off from there mm -hmm. I let me tell you new freedom is a place that the Lord is working in mm -hmm. like I see miracles happening in that place and that place is I'm place happy is a to secular be there. place too oh. it's, not, it's not a God it's, place it's you know? not it's but God is there you know God right. is there right. he's right. moving mountains in there and you know I now you know I'm I attend um, a lot of the programming that takes place in there I'm mm -hmm. there very regularly and you know um, just you know my goal is to support and mentor the women that are just released to that program and you know walk alongside them and give so give things that were so freely given to me mm. you know and not going in there with an agenda but mm. just saying hey this is what worked for me you know these are the pitfalls i saw and you're, you know, you're actually a house mother too over here right at, yeah, at alongside uh, yes well, i'm an I assistant house mother but you assistant know, manager yeah, i like I, that better you like the manager better? <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know if i like house mother well, i kind of like the maternal <laughs> aspect of it okay <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and really think about the maternal aspect. You know, you reconciled with your family now. All those bad things we heard about the last four episodes. Yeah. You reconciled your family, your daughter. Everything's happening now for the positive. Your parents must be so, so happy. I. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Will I say that it's 100% restored? No. Mm -hmm. But I am so grateful that God has given me the opportunity to to that you know and you know to my family you know i can there's no words i'm so i'm so sorry for all of the things that i put you through but this is my way of um reconciling the wreckage mm -hmm. from the, from all the wreckage that i caused especially to mm -hmm. my sister um Mm -hmm. You know, my parents, grandparents, and um, both of my sisters, and, and my, but most importantly, my daughter, Ava. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
this is a chance and God's opened that door and I don't want to disappoint them again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the best thing about it is, and it's a blessing, it takes the weight off right away. You own what's yours and you just own it. Yeah. You know, you know just go through it. Yeah. You know, um, back to Televerde, I, I don't mean to say this, but you know, you I remember, I remember when you first talked to me, I said, yeah, well, I, I really think I was in sales and marketing, but now you kind of moved up the food chain in there as well, right? Didn't you, didn't you kind of go a little farther than you thought you were going to go with this? Well, yeah, I didn't expect that I was going to work with Televerde when I got out. You know, I really, I that wasn't really part of the plan and it just sort of fell into place with hard work, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, and so I, um, I I do support business development in there. Um, you know, I support one of the largest technology companies in the world. Um, you know, I'm thriving. I'm doing well. And you like it. And I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a see because mm -hmm. you thought you were going to be saddled in the healthcare thing for the rest of your life, and you like that. It's yeah. Like you didn't like God it. God has a funny way of. Yes. <laughs> He's changing the plan. Yeah. yeah. I, I love it when He has a plan because I usually screw it up if I get involved. Oh, right? I don't. Leave it to me. Okay. So now when you think about what's going on in your life now, you know, things you, you, you have your daughter, you have your family, you have a job, and it's a thriving job too. You have volunteer. You're a house manager, not a, <laughs> not a house mother. Um, and you're doing uh, places at different places at New Freedom and so forth. And your testimony right now on this channel yeah. is going to go out and people are going to hear it. And certain people are going to go, that's my story. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. And about a third of my audience, which is, uh, uh, and and I have to be careful how I say this because sometimes they, I get a little email and say, Steve, we're not as we're not like sanding on the outside of hell or something. Although I, I'd say maybe you are. I don't know. But I'm just saying yes. These are true stories that could happen to you. It's not just oh that was Steve that was Vanessa. They must have had some little God thing going on. No, we had nothing going on. No. So if God can do it for Vanessa, why can't he do it for you? Absolutely. Why can't he, right? The biggest problem I have in conversations, whether it's in prison or in corporate America or whatever, is people disqualifying themselves. Oh, yeah, but Steve, you don't know my stuff is so bad that, you know, God is, you know, he was done with me years ago. I, I crossed the line. I, I can't come back. Or a prodigal, a person who knew better, shouldn't even been there. They were kind of brought up in the Lord, had a little God consciousness in their life, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened? Uh, you know, I just, I can't do it, Steve. You know, I don't. But he is very long-suffering. And he said, he, if <laughs> that verse I said, I said that one time and the guy says, so he said that if he expected a man to forgive 70 times seven, what could God forgive? I said, all of your stuff. All, all of it. it. All of right. it. Right. This is the beauty of it. Vanessa's story, if it's your story today, know that there's somebody that's went through the meat grinder just like you are. And if you're going through today and you're suffering, hey, listen, you could call alongside Mystery. I'm sure you'd love to hop on the line and talk. Yeah, absolutely. Happen to do, happy to do that. And if you're looking for a, a fellowship, this could be another possibility. Hey, the fellowship of alongside, right? Yes. These are the places people are. You're not going to be tagged because you've had a bad story and nobody wants to be with you, right? Right. So you're going to be accepted, not rejected. I just want to say again, Vanessa, thank you for being on our show. I love to highlight people's stories that have such great interest. Endings. Don't you agree? Yes. We're here at Alongside Ministries, Phoenix, Arizona. And remember, if you want to go ahead, hop out to their website at Alongside Ministries for any of their prison outreach. You may want to be part of their mentoring program. You may want to be part of going into prison. People say, oh, no, that's too scary. It isn't anywhere near as scary as people think it is. It's not. <laughs> if you want to know all their weekly schedule, it's out on their website. If you want to say the special events that they have all the time, it's on their website. Alongside Ministries. And again, alongside-ministries.com. So until next time, I'm Steve Savan, And remember, no one's outside the reach of God, including yourself. Not one. Not one.